Hi Cantors, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. All right, we're starting with bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, we we're going to Nine of Spears. Sorry, I've moved the camera around so like, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with it. So yeah, someone, I, I feel, this is kind of what I got with my Mercury retrograde reading, so uh, you may want to check that out if you've not listened to it yet. Um, but there's a lot of like fire in the divine masculine's belly, you know, getting willing to kind of fight for this love now, you know, making um, an effort, not letting fears hold them back, um, standing on the ground, fighting for this love. star aquarius energy so wanting to um heal things with you this is very similar to the in fact what date is this today the 8th right so we go into the retrograde the 9th of september um so we're already well into the pre-shadow of things um yeah um I, again with this reading i feel someone wanting to heal things with you you know, perhaps they've been going within themselves a lot too and um, healing past traumas, core wounds within themselves. Also, I feel like you watching have been doing that too. You know, you're kind of mirroring each other and that's why you're sort of feeling ready for this connection. They feel ready for this. They feel stronger for this connection. lots of passion and communication coming in eight of wands um yeah eight of wands nine of wands it just feels like um a very fast energy um this can be travel too so either you or them could be planning some sort of trip but i i definitely feel um things just moving very quickly in terms of communication and and just like the action that they want to take with you whether that is just communicating or taking it to the next level or like coming to see you or something it's coming in fast okay and this person could actually be at a distance from you um even like a plane ride away type thing okay but there's a lot this person wants to say to you um and get off their chest so lots of yeah text calls i kind of feel someone like blowing up your phone <laughs> I really do feel this person's been missing you. Um, yeah, look, Ten of Wands, okay, a lot of fire energy here. So definitely you could have fire in your placements, they could too. But again, I just feel it's this energy of like quick moving, you know, some lighting a fire under this person's ass basically, okay? This has been, uh, you know, a burden for them. You know, maybe for you too, but um, can, they're carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of guilt about, um, you know, how they've treated you. Um, things they may have even said, I feel like. And again, 10, we're coming to the end of a cycle. It's definitely like a new cycle happening here between your closing of a cycle and a new start. Oh my God, even more ones. Ace of Wands. So yeah, I mean, and Aces are imminent energy. This is something coming in really quickly. They want a passionate new beginning with you. They want to grow something with you. They could be thinking of starting a family with you. I actually feel for a lot of people um, taking things to the next level in terms of like maybe living together if you haven't before. Um, you know, they feel very passionate towards you, they're very attracted to you, they see you as someone, you know, that has a lot going for them. Um, and it could even be, like, because why I'm getting like such a kind of fast, urgent energy, 
you know, they may feel like they have some competition to fight, you know, for, for you, for your love. You know, and uh, yeah, this is basically the sex card. It could, there, there could also be a very unexpected pregnancy happening here or you unexpectedly got pregnant recently or something but um yeah this it it just has the feeling of like everything everything kind of happening unexpectedly the empress <laughs> i mean we we can't even get like any more confirmation than this any more kind of straightforward you know who is it they're directing all this passion this um energy to oh you know who do they want to take all this action towards go on your life with um you know you the empress divine feminine energy and definitely i feel like there's a pregnancy waiting to happen here so yeah maybe maybe be careful if that's not what you're wanting but i really do feel uh yeah you know the, the empress is is um you know a mother often depicted as pregnant and yeah just getting that feeling um also for you watching i feel like you you have a passion for something and either this is like a new venture for you a new kind of um area of work or like starting your own business or something i just feel there's something you're really passionate about like career-wise um that you maybe have been trying to grow or you're just in the process of starting to or something um, but you know you're really going to reap some rewards from that um as well, yeah i just feel like it's important like maybe you were doing something before where you just didn't give a shit about it basically you know you had no passion for it it didn't fulfill you it just didn't you know it just did not mean anything to you in a way and like shifting your focus to something that maybe you were scared to take that leap of faith like you know yes you're passionate about whatever area it is but you know maybe you thought you couldn't really make it work or make money or whatever but yeah i feel if you shift your focus to to something that you know really does mean a lot to you it sets your soul on fire um it's really going to pay off and four of wands showing up here already the 11 11 maybe you've been seeing that a lot guys i've been seeing that like twice a day um so you know that those little synchronicities are just a sign you're on the right sort of path on the right track and um, but yeah celebration and we're really getting a lot of pregnancy energy here um but marriage as well okay i do feel this person is thinking um about things like that you know they do um they're quite traditional in a way, I feel like this person. Okay, so celebration coming up for you. Um, really letting go of a lot of struggles that you may have had, you know, they're kind of um, in the past. Um, but yeah, it's definitely like, you know, a, a glow around you, maybe a pregnancy glow, <laughs> a glow but um, it, that is drawing a lot of people towards you and it's drawing this person towards you so it could be that you know they're worried that they've left things too late and they need to take kind of urgent urgent action now um or it, you know it could be that they've got wind that you have some other person um you know and and they definitely don't like that you know that way yeah this is oh god passion off the charts here this person craves you desires you um you, you know you just i mean you set this person's soul on fire um but just the sexual attraction the chemistry is just kind of off the scale here 
Um, and again, with the, the King of Wands as well, it's, it's someone who is pretty determined. They go after what they want. What they want is you, okay? They want to win you. And, you know, they may have to fight other people for your attention now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm getting the sense this person has been quite lonely. Um, yeah, and they may have almost thought that you would just kind of sit around in this tower, <laughs> in your bedroom or whatever, and, you know, and wait for them. And they're seeing you, like, moving on, changing, you know, shifting. Yeah. Six of Cups. So, yeah. Um, definitely making a return to you as a strong soul um, connection. Um they, as I said, they've been missing you. They've been thinking about you a lot, um, you know, and the retrograde is just kind of um, exasperating all those kind of nostalgic thinking for people. It just uh, ramps up during the retrograde. Oh, guys, I don't know if you can hear that. It was like a, a storm. We're getting thunderstorms in the UK just now. And it's really, really heavy rain. Uh, it was so noisy. Yeah. Um, So, and it just feels like this person kind of coming back into your life, you know, as the retrograde does bring a lot of past people back in. But, um, yeah, it's before they lose you. I don't, because, like, you're sort of in this energy of, like, looking forward, you know, and maybe, like, looking away from them. Um... You maybe shifted your focus, you know, away from them, gone within. It's, it's almost like I'm getting, you've kind of put them behind you and they feel it. I think um, we'll get some heart oracles too. Well, let's see how they're feeling. But, you know, on Instagram as well, TikTok and things, Patreon. Um, so... The links for my Instagram and TikTok are in the description down below. Click on them so you just get taken straight to my profiles um, and not any scammers. But what I've been getting a lot is this kind of like fighting for, for this love, you know. Um, feeling a sense of like they, they have to get up and fight now. You know, they can't kind of like their, their fears hold them back um but yeah it's a lot of like fighting i'm not sure how else to express it but it's just like a determination uh you know and somebody here could be in like the military or something i'm just getting a lot of like um combat kind of energy um you know and they choose you And it's maybe just that sudden realisation, you know, because like time apart, absence makes the heart grow fonder. But, you know, being alone and ha having to be alone with their own thoughts, you know, it really does make people wake up to what they want, what is important to them. Again, um, Knight of Cups. So I definitely, they're definitely taking action towards you, okay? So there's a lot of... Uh, communication, travel, I feel, though, towards you in some sort of way. Um, but, uh, like, a love confession, you know? Like, confessing all their love to you um, and all their passion. I mean, this person, they're probably having, like, sexual dreams about you and things. Um, it's, it's just like you're all they can think about in the chariot. Okay very very fast moving this really feels like it's coming in quick it could be during the retrograde which i think goes on until the second of october so like within the next few weeks i feel like for a lot of people again that is linked to your mindset though you know really the timing of things depends on you you control everything you control everything in your life and, and how people show up and things so if you sit and watch this reading and they're like, no, it can never happen for me and it won't come in 
the next few weeks and you know whatever sort of negative thoughts then it won't it depends on your mindset but if your mindset is like okay i want this person and certainly if you don't want them anymore <laughs> obviously you know they can't come back but if you secretly kind of do don't go around saying you don't want them anymore but yeah i wouldn't even watch tarot readings to be honest like if i sort of just didn't want this person anymore anyway but if you're like yeah this is what i want coming in quickly it's gonna happen they're gonna show up like how i want them then it will what do they say this is so funny the whole thing like everything is unexpected with this okay it's all just like all of a sudden out the blue and that's the feeling i was getting was like the tower even though it's not come out but it's kind of come out in this deck this is the tower for me in this deck um shock the unexpected okay um just everything kind of turning on its head with this so there's something about this person like maybe you just thought they would never really take action um or you wouldn't speak to them again or something you know because there's been so much distance here between the two of you and then they then they do and they actually go um they actually follow through with things but yeah distance separation that's space so that there has been a lot of um distance between you emotional or physical and i did say i was getting a lot about like a, a physical long distance thing here but take it how it resonates um but there's a lot of travel energy so if you are at a distance then traveling to see you maybe even arranging a trip for the two of you to to go on and, and meet halfway or something spend some time together um, but it could even just be like showing up at your house you know if you if you're quite close to each other showing up at your house and trying to close the distance emotionally trying to have some heart to heart conversations i really do feel this person's going to be like blowing up your phone though yeah in that lot like all of a sudden out the blue you've maybe not heard from them for months or like over a year or something like that and then it's like ding 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 and just loads of text from them this person seems to be like really focused on what they want on what they want is you um i just feel like more feminine energy kind of sort of putting them behind you you know kind of thing and it but that's what always happens in these connections you kind of take your focus and you work on yourself and you you know work on other projects you have or whatever you're not even thinking about this person that is when these <laughs> they show up you know how many times have you like broken up with someone and um you know you just aren't thinking about them at all maybe you have met someone you moved on and that's when they always show up isn't it <laughs> so let's get some messages oh hope my phone battery lasts let's get some messages i'm actually we'll use this deck but i, I want to get a couple of confessions from this person as well seeing pain there i do feel like i mean there has been a lot of pain in this connection but particularly i feel like with your person they've been in a lot of pain you've kind of recovered and like you know moved on and and worked through your things but yeah parents for connection with parents so i almost feel like this person's had commitment issues um because they they're not you know even like their primary care givers those are the people you're supposed to be able to rely on i don't think they could you know and it's almost like they've made themselves so kind of like an island <laughs> self-reliant don't want to rely on anyone else and um it has made them quite kind of distant from people you know i almost find myself in toxic relationships and um, here you came along yeah could feel um, that could be what's connected to the you know the parent issue as well it's just um 
um, maybe their parents didn't have a good relationship too so they've, they've not really you know seen an example of how to be in a good relationship um but yeah i just feel like it's kind of um been short term non-committal frivolous relationships they've been in and toxic too um because it's a way of keeping them themselves distant keeping their heart protected Just grab that, guys. More, well, more confirmation. I have inner childhood wounds. I mean, the star energy around that is about healing and, um, you know, working on things like that, working on trauma. Um, so this person could have been very withdrawn. Obviously, we've got a lot of distance coming through. Um, so they could kind of work on those things. Um, yeah, but what they hope for, what they wish for is, is you, you know, you, you are their wish fulfillment. You are someone that like heals them as well. I feel like you kind of soothe this person. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they're just someone who starts to put up the barriers when they get close to people and it has to do with that their childhood so i feel like <laughs> oh my God, this is so bizarre right i was like what have i just picked up that card again in a different deck <laughs> back to back i have inner childhood wounds that's insane i've never had that ever happen in a reading i I was so confused there. What the hell? Um, all right. Well, I <laughs> really want you to know that. My God. Um, so it's something that has <laughs> obviously affected them so much in their life. Um, wow. I'm sort of blown away by that. Um, <laughs> affected how they approach relationships, you know. Hmm, be more focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm also, I feel like, trying to throw themselves into work, distract themselves from thinking about you. But when, when people do this, um, you know, working and just trying to make money and things like that, um, it's something... Obviously, it's kind of not very like spiritual, you know. It's just it's just very like three D, um, and yeah. In a sense, I just feel like this person trying to focus on something they can control. You know, they can't like control their feelings for you, but like this is the sort of thing that they can control and start to feel like. Okay, I'm taking back my control. I feel, you know, I don't feel vulnerable doing this. I'm not blind to the signs. I do see them. Okay. So. They know where their focus should be now, you know. They're getting signs of that. And again, this spark, you know, I, I kept getting that phrase like, you set their soul on fire. You gave them the spark they've never had that with anyone else you know um they've never met anyone else like you <laughs> oh just wait on me Please don't give up on me. So that is what I got at the beginning, isn't it? Like feeling like they may be taking too long to kind of work things out and um, feel ready and all that. And they feel you, they feel you moving away. They feel you kind of 
giving up on them, you know? And so I just feel like that is kind of the the catalyst for this person all of a sudden rushing in and it's it's just out of nowhere, you know, and they may feel like, you know, you've began to like distance yourself from them. Okay, so that is the message for today. I hope it resonated, guys. This is like a bolt out of the blue. I'm getting this person just showing up or, or messaging you out of nowhere. Um, I hope it resonated. Please do like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Put those notification bells on. It really does help the channel and you won't miss any um, videos as well. But thank you so much for watching.